The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds Art class was over, but Bashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Bashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Oh, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Bashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Bashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong job. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Bashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Bashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Bashti walked into our class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Bashti painted and painted. A yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the red. She discovered that she could make a purple dot. Bashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Bashti splash her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Bashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Bashti's many dots made quite a splash. Bashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Bashti. Me? Nah, not me. I can draw a straight line with a ruler. Bashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. 
the boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's wiggle, and then she said, Please, sign it. <laughs>